Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl 99 back with another video. And let me tell you, this one is not for the faint of heart. We're talking about the scariest, the creepiest, the most haunted places in all of France. Like, I'm talking places where you can practically feel a ghost breathing down your neck. So, if you're brave enough to join me, buckle up. Because things are about to get spooky. Okay guys, we're starting our journey in Paris, the city of love lights, and apparently like, six million skeletons. Yeah, you heard that right. Underneath the romantic streets of Paris lies a network of tunnels that are literally packed with bones. We're talking walls of skulls, corridors of femurs, the whole shebang. It's like something out of a horror movie, but it's totally real. People say that the energy down there is super heavy, and there have been tons of reports of people seeing shadows, hearing whispers, and just feeling completely creeped out. Some even say that the spirits of the dead can follow you home. Like, can you imagine being chased by the ghost of some dude from the 1700s? No thanks. But here's the thing. You know me, I'm kind of morbidly curious. Like, part of me is totally freaked out, but the other part of me just wants to go down there and see it for myself. I mean, can you imagine the stories you could tell and the evidence you could catch on camera? It would be epic. What do you guys think? Would you ever be brave enough to venture into the catacombs of Paris? Okay, so from the depths of the catacombs, we're heading to the French countryside to a real-life fairy tale castle. Well, kind of. Chateau de Brissac is like something out of a storybook, with its towering turrets, grand halls, and sprawling gardens. But don't let the beauty fool you, because this place has a dark side. Legend has it that a former resident, a woman known as the Green Lady because of the green dress she was murdered in, still roams the halls. And apparently, she's not too happy about it. People have reported seeing her ghostly figure, hearing her cries of anguish, and some even say she tries to communicate with guests. Like, what would you even say to a ghost? Hey girl, what's your Wi-Fi password? I mean, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little terrified. But there's just something about haunted castles that I find so intriguing. It's like stepping back in time and into a real life mystery. Plus, imagine the TikToks you could film. Have you guys ever stayed in a haunted castle or encountered a ghost yourself? Spill the tea in the comments, because I need to know everything. Alright, get ready to be transported because we're heading to a place that feels like it's straight out of a fantasy novel. Mont Saint-Michel is this incredible island commune off the coast of Normandy, and it's as beautiful as it is spooky. Picture this, a medieval abbey perched on top of a rocky island, surrounded by swirling tides that cut it off from the mainland twice a day. I mean, how cool is that? But here's where things get interesting. Because of its isolation and its long history, Mont Saint-Michel is steeped in legends and ghost stories. People say that the island is haunted by the ghosts of monks who lived and died there centuries ago. And during high tide, when the fog rolls in and the island is cut off from the world, it's said that you can hear their chants echoing through the streets. Spooky, right? I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting major chills just thinking about it. There's just something about isolation and the unknown that really gets to me. Like, what if you were stuck on that island overnight with a bunch of ghostly monks? I would probably die. You guys know I live for a good love story, especially when it involves a haunting. And let me tell you, Chateau de Chateaubriand does not disappoint. This castle has it all forbidden romance, jealous rage, and a ghost who just can't let go. So the story goes like this. Back in the 16th century, Françoise de Foix, this beautiful noblewoman, caught the eye of the King of France. Scandalous, right? Well, the King's jealous wife was not having it, and she accused Françoise of, like, everything under the sun. Long story short, Françoise ended up dead under mysterious circumstances, with rumours of poisoning swirling around her demise. Now, legend has it that Françoise's spirit still haunts the castle, seeking revenge for her untimely death. People say they've seen her ghostly figure wandering the halls, still wearing the clothes she died in. Some even say she tries to communicate with visitors, whispering her tragic tale. I mean, talk about holding a grudge. This story just goes to show that sometimes, love can be deadly. And also, that breaking up with someone via poisoned love letter is never the answer. Okay, we're taking a little detour from haunted castles to visit a place that's both beautiful and a little bit eerie Père Lachaise Cemetery. This place isn't your average graveyard. It's like a who's who of famous dead people. 
We're talking Jim Morrison, Oscar Wilde, Edith Piaf, the list goes on and on. But here's the thing. With so many legends laid to rest in one place, it's no surprise that Père Lachaise is rumoured to be one of the most haunted cemeteries in the world. People say that the veil between the living and the dead is thin here, and that you can practically feel the energy of the spirits. There have been countless reports of strange occurrences, shadowy figures lurking among the tombs, disembodied voices whispering on the wind, and even full-on apparitions appearing to visitors. Some people even leave gifts and tributes at the graves of their favourite celebrities, hoping to catch a glimpse of their idols from beyond the grave. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of obsessed with cemeteries. They're so peaceful and serene, but also a little bit spooky. It's like stepping into another world, a world where time stands still. All right, let's get real for a second. If I saw a ghost, I would probably scream faint and then need therapy for like a year. But there's a part of me, a tiny curious part that wants to believe. And that's why I'm so drawn to places like Chateau de Comarque. This medieval castle, now in ruins, sits perched on a clifftop surrounded by dense forests. It's the kind of place that just screams haunted, you know? The silence is broken only by the sound of the wind whistling through the crumbling walls, and you can almost feel the weight of history pressing down on you. Legend has it that the castle is haunted by the ghosts of knights who fought and died there centuries ago. People say that you can hear their ghostly footsteps echoing through the courtyard, and that their spectral figures can sometimes be seen wandering the ruins. Okay, so this one's a little different. We're taking a break from real-life hauntings to visit a place where the scares are all part of the fun, Le Manoir de Paris. This place is basically an interactive haunted house on steroids. Imagine this. You're walking through a dark, creepy mansion, and suddenly, you're surrounded by actors dressed as all sorts of terrifying creatures. There are special effects, jump scares, and everything in between. It's like stepping into a horror movie, except you're living it. Now, I know what you're thinking. 99, that sounds terrifying. Why would I ever do that to myself? And you know what? You're not wrong. But there's something about facing your fears head on that's kind of exhilarating. Plus, it's all in good fun, right? Right? Okay, back to the castles. But this one's not your typical haunted castle story. This one's about love, betrayal, and a ghost who just wants to be free. The Chateau de Puy-Martin, with its fairy tale exterior, hides a dark secret within its walls. The story goes that back in the 16th century, the lady of the castle, Thérèse de saint Clair, was caught having an affair, and her punishment, she was locked away in a tower for 15 years. Can you imagine? Talk about a bad breakup. Anyway, Therese eventually died in her tower prison, but her spirit is said to still haunt the castle. People say that they've seen her ghostly figure, dressed in white, wandering the halls, searching for her lost love. Some even say that she tries to communicate with visitors, whispering her tragic tale. Get ready for another dose of spooky monastic vibes because we're heading to the Abbaye de Mortemer, a Cistercian abbey with a history as dark as its crumbling walls. This place is like a magnet for paranormal activity, and it's not hard to see why. The abbey is said to be haunted by the ghosts of monks who lived and died there centuries ago. But there's one ghost in particular who stands out, the White Lady of Mortimer. Legend has it that she was a young woman who was brutally murdered and buried within the abbey walls. And now, her restless spirit roams the halls seeking peace or maybe revenge. Visitors have reported seeing her ghostly figure gliding through the abbey hearing her mournful cries echoing through the corridors and even feeling her icy presence. Some even say that she tries to communicate with visitors, whispering her tragic tale. We're ending our spooky journey at a castle that's shrouded in mystery and steeped in dark legends, the Chateau de Tressesson. This place is like something straight out of a gothic novel with its imposing facade, overgrown gardens and an atmosphere that just screams haunted. One of the most chilling legends surrounding the castle is the tale of a young bride who was buried alive within its walls. The story goes that she was falsely accused of infidelity and as punishment was entombed while still alive. Can you even imagine the horror? It's said that her anguished cries can still be heard echoing through the castle, begging for release. Visitors have reported seeing her ghostly figure, still clad in her wedding gown, wandering the halls, searching for a way out of her eternal prison. So there you have it, guys. 
the top 10 must-see scariest destinations in France. From the bone-chilling catacombs to the ghost-ridden castles, France is basically a buffet of spooky goodness. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to book a flight and pack my ghost hunting gear. Just kidding. Unless... No, but seriously. Which one of these places freaked you out the most? Would you be brave enough to visit any of them? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're at it, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications so you never miss a spooky adventure. Stay creepy!